Hey guys, what's up? Jesse here from Sweet Academy. If you've taken any classes with me, you know how important communication is when trying to learn another language. Am I right? That is the point of learning another language, generally, unless it's for an exam or something like that. A big part of communication is the body language. So in this series of videos, I'm going to look at the body language in interactions, in people's interactions, in interviews and different videos, looking at their body language and look at what they're communicating with their body language. Let's pick up on certain tells and certain ways that people move their bodies and use their bodies to help us look at the big picture. In this video, we're looking at the recent interaction and the greeting between Kim Jong-un, the North Korean president, and Moon Jae-in, the South Korean president. Let's take a look at their body language to see what they're saying. He seems to be a little nervous, but I would use the word cautious. Now take a look at his legs and his arms. Short steps. And his shoulders are a bit slumped. Yeah, that's a little bit of their form, but slumped is pointed in a down direction. You see his face is pointed down a little bit. His shoulders are a little slumped down. He doesn't have as much pride and security that he is used to having in his country. Contrast that with the strong, upright stance, the strong posture of the South Korean president, President Moon. He's strong, standing there, holding his hand out to greet Kim Jong-un first. He's welcoming him out. You notice that? Normally, when somebody comes to your house, what do you do? You hold your hand out first. And now you say, see Kim Jong-un, he's a little more open, still a little cautious, still a little worried, and they have a nice firm handshake. Handshakes are very important when you're greeting. Handshakes make a good first impression. If you want to make a good first impression in a foreign country, you can definitely tell which one is the more dominant one and which one is the more submissive one in this context. And of course, because Kim Jong-un is coming out of his country, of coming out of his bubble. Now you see President Moon welcoming him in. And he's accepting. You still see he's a little timid in this interaction. You see President Moon is inviting him into his house. Now this next photo op is very curious. I want you to focus on and take a look at Kim Jong-un's face. Well, both of their smiles, you see back here, President Moon's smile. Kim Jong-un isn't smiling, he looks worried. President Moon, he has a genuine looking smile. This is a big moment. And this is a genuine smile. Contrast this to the smile coming up. And we call this kind of face. He's not smiling with his eyes. He's not smiling with his forehead. Just he's trying to force a smile with his mouth. We call that a forced smile. Just for pictures because out of manners you're supposed to. That's the first thing I want you to notice. The forced smile. The second thing is Kim Jong-un's face. Look at the emotionless face. And it's not just in this still frame. He keeps that face. Emotionless, still. And one other thing I want you to notice. Look at the difference in the handshake grip here. This is purely for photo op. Neither of them are really thrilled about it but it's something they have to do. Look at the grip. There's basically no grip. It's a finger grip, loose, and contrast that with the grip earlier in their genuine greeting. Hands interlocked, contrast that to 
you see the difference in the hand grip. And Kim Jong-un's face, emotionless. He doesn't want to be there. Have you ever been in this position before? Would you like to come in for a drink? No, I really should get going. Well then, maybe next time. Let me walk you to the door. Thank you, I had a wonderful time. I did too. Let's keep in touch. Yes, absolutely. Let's go back and show you what I was talking about. Kim Jong-un's strides, his walking steps, how they were small and short in the beginning here. You see how he was cautious. He was careful. He didn't know what was going to happen. He was unsure. But now, compare that to the end here. His strides, the steps are a little more open. His head is a little more up. And his shoulders are a little more up. You see the difference. Short steps, cautious steps, looking around, not really sure what's going to happen. A little worried or concerned. And at the end, everything went fine. He's more confident. Bigger steps, normal steps. Shoulders back a little more. And he's more relaxed. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you saw from this communication. This was a great step. Hopefully this is the first step toward real progress and true progress. That would be fantastic. But let me know what you think about this interaction. Let me know what you think about their body language and how they communicated. If you're still unsure about subscribing, check out one more video and see if that'll convince you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.